Hi, I'm Corinne with Thompson RV in Pendleton, Oregon. Today I'm going to show you a brand new 2023 Backcountry 21 RWS by Outdoors RV Manufacturing. So some of you may be already familiar with the Outdoors RV products, some maybe not so much. Outdoors RV is known for making true four season trailers that are off-road capable and have a high quality of construction. So they make multiple different uh, floor plans. They make the Creekside, which is your smallest, your Timber Ridge, which is kind of medium, your Blackstone, which is gonna be larger. Those all are available in a Mountain Series and a Titanium Series. Well, this Backcountry Series is a standalone um, group of trailers that's built specifically to be the most off-grid capable. All of the other ones, you can add solar, so you can definitely take them off-grid as well, but this one has the built-in generator. So there's a few features that are very specific to the backcountry. I'll go over those throughout this video as well as show you the floor plan. So the, the main thing is gonna be that Onan 3600 LP generator. They come standard with one solar panel already on the roof and you can add up to three. And then also 100 gallons of fresh water capacity. So at the moment, they're only building four floor plans in the backcountry series with the gen. So the 20BD is their smallest non-slide model. The 21 RWS, that's the one we're standing in today. The 24 KRS and then a 28 DBS bunk bed model. So the 21 RWS, what I love about it is that it's a very small footprint, a little over 25 feet, and you get all of this open space. Granted, not everybody wants a trailer that's this open. I kind of like it. I like that you can maneuver it, get it into any space, but then also you still have a slide out. You've got sleeping if you need it. And then you also have the made down queen bed. And I just, I do like the open and airiness of it. So it doesn't feel so tight. Um, Outdoors RV, we'll just start here. They put a mountain dinette into all of their units. What that means is it's a bigger booth dinette than what you're gonna find in almost every trailer out there. Um, so a bigger table. I mean, if you were having four people sitting here having meals, it, it comfortably sits four people. You can play cards, whatever, but it also fits four big plates as well as a dish in the center. Not to mention the way they build their tables. It's very sturdy. <clears throat> Higher quality construction on their dinette than most other companies, well, probably all other companies are using. Four inch high density foam. They put in um, a thicker wall board is what they use for the base of their dinette. For 2023, they've gone to all solid hardwood drawer faces and those lock and they're a very deep pot and pan drawer. And then you also have some a uh, little bit harder to access, but a little more storage on that side of the dinette. In this particular model, this is what they're considering the living room. So the living room of all the backcountry series have the slow rise blackout shades. Part of their Four Seasons package is going to be dual pane windows. So not only do they build their walls two inches thick, extra insulation in the roof, extra insulation in the floor, fully enclosed heated tanks. They're also doing dual pane windows in the trailer. So if you were building a brand new home today, you would never put in single pane windows, right? Because they sweat, they're cold, they let more noise in, all of that. So they don't do that in their trailers either. So dual pane windows, very important. Over here, this would be considered the bedroom. Uh, you've got a walk around 60 by 80 full queen bed. You do have under bed storage. This little thing right here, that's where you can come in, kick your shoes off, kick them under the bed so you're not tripping over them. And you've got a drawer on each side of the bed as well. The nightstands are nice and long. And part of that is because this is actually the framing for the pass-through storage in the front. And then this is gonna be your generator box on this side. On all backcountry models, you get the pistol safe next to the bed. You also get a 110 outlet 12 volt outlet and then a 12 volt USB port to charge your devices. As I was talking about their solid hardwood drawer faces that they just started using for 2023, um, another thing that sets Outdoors RV apart is their cabinetry. So nothing is stapled, it's all screwed together and they use solid hardwood. Shirt ward on each side of the bed. Upper storage. A light over each side so you can turn them on individually. And then this right here, that's the ZAMP charge controller for the solar panel. So it already comes standard with 170 watt panel. You can get a second or a third panel for a total of 510 watts. There's also a port on the side to add up to 200 watts of portable solar. 
So in all of our units, we also equip all of ours with the Max Air Deluxe Vent Fan. The one over the bed is going to run off of a remote because that otherwise you'd have to stand on the bed to even work it. So it's a 10 speed fully automatic, has a built in cover, exhaust or intake, and it's um, thermostatically controlled. So it'll turn off at a certain temperature if you want it to. And then also um, has the, like I said, the built in cover so you can run it in the rain, run it going down the road whatever you need to do. So those push a lot of air. So if you're somewhere where it's not quite hot enough to need to turn on your air conditioner, but you wanna get a good breeze going, then you'd kick that on. Over here in the kitchen, eight cubic foot Norcold refrigerator, gas and electric. And this is also equipped with the cold weather kit. So a fridge will turn off below freezing because the ambient temperature outside tricks it into thinking that it's, it's you know cold enough that it doesn't need to work. Obviously, it needs to stay on even below freezing temperatures. So this is equipped with a cold weather kit, so it'll keep running smoothly even below freezing. Solid surface countertops. We've got a 110 outlet there as well as over here. Storage next to the microwave, a little pantry down below. You get the glass top on the stove, so when that's closed, it gives you extra counter space three burner stove, the front one's high output. You get the knife rack right here behind the stove. So you slip your knives in back there so you don't have to pack around a knife block. <clears throat> Spice rack right here, a bank of three drawers, and then also storage underneath the sink. Quite a bit in this model actually. High arc faucet, and then Outdoors RV does the solid surface countertops with the covers and then also the farm style sink with the rack in the bottom to protect the stainless sink. This model, right when you walk in the main door, you have this really great wardrobe coat closet. So especially for our outdoorsmen, when you wanna hang up all your camo or your hunting gear, it's a nice big closet and then two drawers as well. So let's see what the bathroom looks like in this one. Hey, this one has a pretty large bathroom. You've got a nice big cabinet with a stainless steel sink, glass shower, solid hardwood medicine cabinet, a skylight over the shower, LED lighting, another Max Air fan, air conditioning duct, towel storage behind the toilet, a couple of towel hooks, a porcelain toilet, and then also a heat duct. So the heat and air conditioning duct, that's something Outdoors RV does that you wouldn't think is a big deal, but it is really nice to have those in your bathroom when it's super hot or super cold outside. And over here, we have another pantry area, another drawer, the Jensen 12 volt, 32 inch LED flat screen TV. And it is on a swing arm, so you can bring it around a little more to the dinette. And then you've got your CD DVD player. It's also Bluetooth, so you can Bluetooth your phone. There's outside speakers, and so you can listen to your music while you're sitting out under the awning. A 12 volt USB port, and then also just a, a regular 12 volt outlet. 110 outlet here, 110 outlet here. Cable and satellite hookup. And then you also have a switch right here that goes to the WineGuard 360 Plus. So that is the TV antenna that can actually take a gateway router. So Outdoors RV has done all the work. They've pre-wired the gateway router, put in a switch for us. So if you want to have Wi-Fi and internet in your trailer, we can just add the gateway router. So with the slide out in, as you can see, there's plenty of room to get in, use the bathroom, make a sandwich, get to the refrigerator. We don't recommend that you use the slide out when it's in the in position. We want it to be fully extended before you start stepping on it. Um, but you can easily get back to the bed, take a nap while you're going down the road or whatever. So everything is very easily accessible in this model with the slide out in. Here on the outside of the Backcountry 21 RWS, this one is a single door model because of the size. You get the Lenda hand grab bar handle, the triple aluminum step, aluminum wrapped electric awning. So you push a button, the awning comes out automatically. As I stated earlier, dual pane windows, outside speakers, marine grade speakers, so you can Bluetooth to the stereo inside or play a CD, whatever, and sit out under the awning and enjoy music. 
Outdoors RV on all of their models, part of their custom built chassis is also going to be the suspension. Just like if you were shopping for a car today, you would never go out and buy a car that didn't have shocks or suspension on it. But believe it or not, almost all trailers on the market do not have any kind of suspension, just a leaf spring. So Outdoors RV does what they call the Off-Road X4 suspension package. That's the More Ride CRE 3000 suspension, heavy duty shackles with bronze bushings, and then the KYB off-road shocks. They also do heavy duty 5,200 pound axles, 16 inch wheels and tires, load range E, Goodyear endurance tires. Right here, you've got your 110 electrical outlet for underneath the awning. This is where you're gonna fill your 100 gallon fresh water tank. Access and venting for your refrigerator. Access and venting for your furnace. And this is really important to note that you do have access from, your, from the outside to pull out the furnace versus having to take it apart from the inside. They just recently started doing this fire pit barbecue hookup. So that's a quick disconnect LP hookup. Over here, Outdoors RV uses nice thick luggage doors. That's also part of their Four Seasons package. Slam latch luggage doors, and then always a magnet at the top to hold it up. Specific to the back country is going to be the More Ride sliding tray. This helps you access stuff that's in the back of your compartment because you don't have a full pass through like you do on other models because the generator's on the other side. This coil hose, I'll show you in a minute, this goes to the outside shower. Um, it actually on the Backcountry Series is a standalone separate pump, separate from the rest of the trailer, that actually gives you more pressure because it's specific for that um, station. In here you get an ax and shovel holder, as always the rubberized diamond plate, and then it's important to note that this is all fully insulated. A lot of trailer brands, they don't insulate the front compartment, which is right where you sleep, so it's very drafty. They fully insulate everything. Inside here, you've got your battery kill switch. We option in the power stabilizer jacks on all of ours. You have a light, and then new as of right now is a USB port and also a 12 volt um, charger right here inside. We do a lot of the 12 volt Dometic compressor style little fridges. They look like a little Yeti cooler, but they're actually a 12 volt compressor style fridge or freezer. You could do an ice maker, whatever, but now you have a 12 volt outlet to hook it into. Right here on the side, this is where you're going to hook in your portable solar. The portable solar, you can do up to 200 watts. And then the portable solars always come with their own charge controller built in. So it's separate from the system that's on the roof. Because Outdoors RV puts all their backcountry series on the big 8-inch I-beam chassis, you are going to get the full fiberglass front cap. And then you get this uh, coating on the bottom that's like a, basically a bed liner. And that's going to protect your fiberglass from rock chips. They also do an integrated A-frame. So when they build their custom-built chassis, they integrate the A-frame into the 8-inch I-beam chassis as to not just tack weld on the A-frame like you see on a lot of cheap trailers out there. They just tack weld on that front piece and that's obviously not gonna be very sturdy. So they do everything beefy, made, it's made specifically to be able to go up logging roads, off-road. I've seen YouTube videos of people doing some pretty crazy stuff with trailers just like this built by Outdoors RV and they withstand pretty much everything that's thrown at them. This toy lock right here, this is part of the mountain storage system. So you've got the rear receiver hitch on the back toy lock on the front that is an option it doesn't come standard from the factory just like we do the max air fans the 12 volt heat pad the power stabilizers we option in the mountain storage system on everything this particular customer has three uh, battle born lithium heated batteries in our custom powder coated aluminum locking box uh, the custom powder coated aluminum locking box we get that made here locally by a family run um, welding operation. So we're pretty proud of it. It's pretty cool that they're able to uh, supply us with that because nobody else on the market's making it. So we're, we're very happy that we can keep that business local. These are 10 gallon propane tanks. So that's bigger than what you're gonna find on any of the other Outdoors RV. The rest come with seven and a half gallon. 
The reason this comes with the 10 gallon is because of the Onan 3600 LP generator and so you can stay out longer. The hitch caddy, so you've got your safety chains, your seven way cable and your, or your seven way cord and your breakaway cable that can be stored up on this while not in use so they're not just hanging out in the dirt. Power tongue jack. Then when we come around to the roadside of the trailer, this is where your generator is. So it's the 3600 LP, that's gonna be the equivalent of a 4,000 watt gas generator. It's plenty to run the 13.5 air that comes on this unit. Um, it's not an option from the factory, but once the trailer gets here, we can actually option in a, we can swap it out for a 15K air too, and this will run that either or. The 100 gallon fresh water drain on this particular model is gonna be right here. So you've got a nice inch and a half drain valve, so not just a little half inch petcock. So you pull that handle so you can drain that quicker. Again, not an option on the Backcountry Series, but we would put them on here. We recommend the slide out topper. That's gonna keep rain, debris, everything off the slide out when it's out and it comes out automatically with the slide out. That's a titanium feature that we add here to most of our Mountain Series and Backcountry Series. Here is your insulated exterior shower. Um, it's got the quick, quick release spray port right here. Like I said, it has a separate pump. And so you get a lot more pressure than you would with just a standard outside shower. Also notice the insulated door. That's something specific to Outdoors RV um, because the outside shower door on most trailers is gonna be a weak link. They don't feel like you can make a true Four Seasons trailer and call it a true Four Seasons trailer without having you know, insulated doors, insulated front compartment, the thermal pane windows, all of that. So on top of all the extra insulation and heated tanks and all of that, they really do a good job. All those little things add up. This is gonna be your city water fill, excuse me, not city water fill, but your city water connection. So if you're in a park and you just wanna run off of city water, that's where you're gonna hook up the hose. Black tank flush for flushing out your black tank. This is gonna be a light in case you need to dump your valves, or excuse me, your tanks while uh, it's dark outside. So you've got your pull handles under here for your 40 gallons of gray, as well as your 40 gallons of black. Right here is where you would hook up your 30 amp power cord satellite and cable hookup, four inch steel bumper with sewer hose storage, two inch receiver hitch on the back. That's part of that mountain storage system. So you can haul e-bikes, bicycles, whatever. The big tube ladder, that's great for getting up on your roof. We recommend you check your roof sealants every six months. Spare tire and access to your water heater. So if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Everybody here at Thompson RV is very knowledgeable. So you don't have to just ask for me. All the guys here own Outdoors RVs and everybody knows what they're talking about. So if you have any questions concerning different floor plans or whatever, uh, just feel free to give us a call.